Welcome back, Mirakot Nation, to Borderlands 1. In the last episode, we took out the final boss, which was Claptrap, and General Knox and Steel, the revenge fight. In this episode, we're just going to finish this place up, so we're ready for the next DLC. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe, like, and share my channel and my videos. Uh, it will be highly appreciated and in advance I thank every one of you guys all right let's get started here we got one more mission we got the process uh, payment process turned in I'm wondering if I don't turn that in do I get to farm the chest or I don't know let's go find out are they all closed again It's already open. Yeah, you get to farm these chests. If you don't turn in this mission, you can farm these infinitely as long as you quit and come back. Ooh, a primal master. 98 times 7. Let's see here. Let's go find my master. <clears throat> yeah, it's more powerful. By 10 points, pretty much. A little less on the accuracy. Better fire rate. Mine has better fire rate. All it has for it is more damage. <clears throat> Mine is only 29 recoil reduction, 59 reload speed. So I has faster reload. Mine is 63% damage. I don't know if that's really worth it. Not really. Check out my shotgun here. I'm using the Bulldog. I picked up one yesterday that was more powerful. <clears throat> what was it? 160 times 12. But it's only got two rounds. What is the reload speed? It looks doable. Hmm. Times three fire. But I did get a new volcano. So that can go. 112 times seven. Isn't that my original? I'm keeping that one. This one has nine rounds. <clears throat> That's pretty crazy. Nine rounds. I was going to keep this, but... Yeah, let's do it anyways. There it is. 100, 102 times 12. That was my original, wasn't it? <clears throat> the one I was using for a long time, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Don't like thumpers. Ooh. Class mods for days. And millions and millions of class mods. Still got a lot of stuff on us though. Alright. Let's open all these chests up again before you get fully started here. Why not? So if you want to farm these chests just don't uh, turn in the mission hmm. there you go All right. we got guns over here. really you gonna give me white junk help. what are we gonna get anything good anything good oh, come on now you can do it wow this one is lame burning SMG at 37,000 Times three fire. Okay. Yeah, I might not even turn in this mission. I don't know what the reward is for it. Well, that's pretty nice, I guess. Always nice to get. But yeah, I could just farm these chests for extra loot. But I think they stay around the same level as I. 
finish the mission. So it's not going to be that great later on. Yeah, I just finished the artwork for the uh, the next DLC, which is uh, the secret armory of General Knox. And I'll be doing starting that DLC tomorrow after I finish this one. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I just want to finish things up. That's pretty much what it is. I got the mission for Tannis collecting all the parts. And then we got the uh, <clears throat> that side mission that was in the bounty board. That's pretty much all we got left. Not unless it wants to add more to the game after I complete that, that bounty board mission. So we'll see. Wow, these chests are not really kind to me, are they? They don't like me at all. Oh, this is worth a little bit of money. Money's not really a big issue in this game. Oh man. These guns are not that good. Every one of them I've tried so far. Yeah, they have infinite ammo, but they just suck. Ooh. I haven't gotten one legendary out of this place either. I'd like to have another double anarchy that's better than what I got, or a good masher, not like the one in the shop. Actually, what am I going? Time to sell this junk. I like how they have a bl uh, white in the um, shop as the uh, item of the day. Burning SMG. Mm. Caustic rocket launcher might be useful, but eh. Just gotta keep the inventory down. That's pretty much it. So I'm not like. It's over a thousand damage though. Very slow fire rate. We'll hold on to it for now. But every one of those uh, iridium weapons are quite poopy. Alright, let's move on. I'm done there. Yeah, I won't turn in this mission for now. There's no point. Let's see. The missions. Uh, this one here. Yeah, it just gives you EXP and money. Well, that's kind of lame. I don't know how, like I said uh, earlier, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. The longest part will probably be the Tannis collecting the parts and opening those chests and stuff. But hey, that's what we're all here for, right? See what we get in the chests. Hyperion Victoria's Information Board. Kill 15 default bandits and their leader default. Hmm, okay. Let me guess, back at that maze? No, it looks like it's going out the back of the place. Okie doke. I don't even know if anybody even says that anymore. Okie doke. For some reason I say it here and there. Alright. Junky junk junk. No, it wants me to go that way. Dang it. It's gonna go back to that maze, isn't it? I don't like the maze. <clears throat> no, I don't mean corn. <clears throat> I mean a maze. <clears throat> Seems like I just started doing this uh, Borderlands Let's Play in here. I'm almost done with Borderlands 1. We're starting Borderlands 2 pretty soon. I'm just hoping they do, they do a good job in Borderlands 3. I just don't want it to be some stupid battle royale. I, don't, I, don't, I'm not, I, I really don't care about the battle royale thing. It sucks. Yeah, I know it's a big thing and everybody likes it, but... Me, no. I, I suck at multiplayer anyway, so those kind of games are just be running around like a complete noob. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a bit stuffy in this episode. I usually do, but this one I sound worse. 
I don't even know where I'm even going. I'm running around in circles like an idiot. Look at this, everything's a dead end. How do I get down there? Why is it always blocked off in the EDB little tiny little sliver of the map is the actual place you gotta go? Finally. I just wanted to get down here, that's all I wanted to do. Oh, oh yeah, the, oh, isn't that the sound? Remember we went into that big crater earlier? Uh, a couple episodes ago? You remember the big uh, rack hive that was underground? I think that is what it wants me to fight. I was wondering when I was going to get this mission. I don't have to worry about these bandits anymore. But I think that's what this mission is, is going after that rack hive. Is it telling me to go this way? Where is it telling me to go? <sighs> On the tracks. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Maybe I should have looked at the map before even starting to walk off over here. I thought that was where it was taking me. Well, the whole beginning of this episode is kind of a waste. We got to open chests. Hmm. Guess that was something. I never got that chest either. I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. Most chests so far hasn't been worth it. I'm wondering if the rack hive is weak against fire. What's the rack hive weak against? It is fleshy, so I'm guessing fire. Acid for armor, electricity for shields. I might switch this gun out for that one fire pistol. The f Do I want the fire hawk? Or the hellfire? Let's try the fire hawk. <clears throat> Let's go. We'll finally get to go after wandering around for no reason at all. Did I hear a claptrap going? Really? Guys, I just found the clock trap. Each DLC gives you one <coughs> upgrade for your backpack, the SDUs. Oh, we got two quests to do then. I'm guessing this one's still in town, so I don't have to leave. So let's do that real fast, and then we'll move on. It's a trap clock. This one's going to turn the evil, isn't he? Stand no chance, man. You stand no chance. What is this? Armament here. There's my ST. Yay! What was that noise? Heard another noise like uh, a door open or a chest. Uh, I guess it was this. It closed on me. Alright, that's done. Let's go. Actually, before we do... Okay. Yay. Another thing complete. <clears throat> I didn't know that. Didn't you hear that claptrap the first time I ran through there? How are you still talking? You know, I defeated you already. <clears throat> I already defeated you, bro. So hopefully I'll get some of the clock trap parts while I'm doing this. Shields and sh uh, fire don't mix very well. That cold jump shot was ruined by reload. 
anything up there? No. Is this the same place? Is it really telling me to go back again? What is this thing doing, man? Oh, that's prompt payment process. It went automatically back to that for some reason. There we go. Better. This ain't the same place that led to that big uh, opening. That crater that had the that rack hive in it. Wow. So one difference between this game and all the other ones. You got all the gore. What not. The other games, yeah, you still got the violence, but the gore and stuff's not there. The giving. Just tell me to go this way. Yeah, I didn't really explore down here very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Hey. Might try out that iridium weapon, but I doubt it's gonna do anything good. It's a cannon, so it's gonna have a very slow projectile. Does it want me up there? He's telling me to go this way, and it wants me up there. Man, the marker sucks. It confuses me. Don't know why, but it does. It's not very intuitive. It shows you the general left location, that's all. There's a BA down there. I'll leave that BA alone. Okay, so I gotta go up there and then around. Okay, so it goes, you have to go through the entire base. Double anarchy? Yeah, nothing can stand up to this gun. Even bosses get knocked out real quick for it. Why is other guys still brain controlled or mind controlled when I already defeated Claptrap? Shouldn't things be normal again? These guys always have a lot of health. Eater trap. Yeah, their loot sucks, guys. Their loot sucks. Yeah, that's about 26. Let's just get into this place. Go back to the double anarchy. You read it in a book, huh? But how are you talking to me like that when you've already been defeated? Because it's all programmed. You're supposed to do these the, uh, these side missions before doing the final boss. I need to take out these class cards because I need parts so I can finish doing that mission too. I hope the 150 is the last round for that, to be honest. Oh. So many of the psychos. Hit me that grenade. Ow. 
You guys take care of each other. It's those exploding clock traps that get me almost every time. There we go. I got stuck on something right there. I couldn't move. Alright. Well, we got all these parts to pick up. Hold down the pickup button and it wants to only pick up a couple items. I always want to look at the items even though most of them are just junk. Underwear? No, that was pizza. I thought that was underwear. Nope. Wrong again. Yeah, change if you guys are if you run across my channel, I wanted to mention that I uh, changed my about me page. When you go straight to my channel, you'll see like videos, home playlists, whatnot. On the end of it, it'll say about. I changed the about page so you'll hopefully understand me a little bit better and what this channel is about. And, what I'm about. So. so if you're interested and you run across my channel, recommend reading the about page. I will not always keep that the same, I will change it here and there. Add things I need to add or whatnot. And in the future I was thinking about doing a, a trailer for my channel. But I I'll, the reason why I haven't done a trailer yet is because I've been waiting for more uh, my channel to have more content on it and then I'll add that because I was thinking about when I was going to make my trailer, I was going to have a compilation of uh, <laughs> We survived the robot apocalypse. We fear nothing, especially little shits like you. Now, get off my land or prepare to default on your life. Nice. Do you think you scare me, bro? But like I was saying, is that I wanted more content on my channel to make it like if I was going to do a compilation while I uh, commentate about who I am and what the channel's about, but not for trailer. I just wanted to make a compilation of mini games and not just one, so I'm waiting to do that. Wow, dude, jeez. Just nothing but a million shots a second. Constantly getting hit. Look at that damage. Mike, Mike, did you see that damage that thing was doing? It's doing over 4,000. Wow. He dropped junk, right? Yeah, a bunch of junk. The bosses in this game are really disappointing when it comes to loot. Because you fight a boss in any game, like RPGs, whatever, you always expect, you know, good loot from them. Or somewhere in the middle. Not Borderlands 1. The bosses and their loot is junk. That's why they changed it in the second game. Then they made it worse in pre-sequel because they gave it to a different company to make the game. And they had to fix that. If anybody remembers, pre-sequel was known for their non-farmable bosses, which made Borderlands what it is. It's always the same stuff. Every time I open these class mods and shields, I like this one though. Worse on recharge rate, but higher on capacity. But like, what was it? 60 to 70% of chests I open are always shields and class mods. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's just what it seems. But yeah, the whole trailer thing, that's why I haven't gotten a trailer on there. Uh, they recommend you make a trailer right when you start your channel. But I want to make a compilation of you know different games stuff I do in the games and stuff so you guys get but instead of just me telling you 
about my channel you guys can see the things I do in my videos for like little clips to me that makes more sense or I could just make a trailer of one game but then it'd be on YouTube will ex accept me to only, you know expect me to only play that game which doesn't work I play all kinds of games I remember this little hole here, they just, they just keep coming. Some of those getting hit from behind. Which sounds really bad. If I think about it. Okay, look at a part. Click, hold, look at a part. Look at money. My goodness, man, look at all these bits. So many things. Just with junk in it, I'm guessing. Nice <clears throat> I was like, is that a double anarchy? No. Of course not. Oh, it's another one of those shoots rocket types. More powerful than the last one. Nice. I was hoping to find a new one. Remember I was saying I wanted to play around with it when I sold that last one. Which was kind of recently. <coughs> Excuse me. Every time I start doing my commentary, my throat wants to all go stupid on me. Just won't, doesn't want to work correctly. That's just what happens when you smoke cigarettes for like, I don't know, like 20 some odd years straight. I started smoking when I was like 13 because of peer pressure. And then I stopped smoking the beginning of this year. And I'm almost 40. So think about that. That's been a long time. <clears throat> Doctor Ned, or Zed, or whoever you are. Thumper, come on, no thumpers. I hate thumpers. They suck. Yeah, they probably hit hard, but they're very slow fire rate. I'd rather have like a. Uh, Tank in or something. But I thought this boss was the, uh, the Rack Hive. Because I remember you had to fight it in that crater. Maybe there's another mission I gotta do. Maybe. I don't even know. I'm kinda confused. Because I remember fighting that Rack Hive. I didn't want that. Well, might have might not be starting the new DLC tomorrow after all. If there's a new mission pops up for that rack hive. Means it'll be my next uh next week it'll be when I start the new DLC. Since we did the default, let's go back to this one. So I can keep track of it easier. Seeing it on screen. Guys, it's hard to see where these guys are sometimes. There you are. You should drop more than one part though. This is a good place to farm to be the parts you need for a or Tannis. That's what I was about to say. Claptrap. You don't need no parts for Claptrap. Alright. 99 of 150, so if we go back to that other place, we'll be very close. The junkyard. <clears throat> so, yeah, if uh, I don't finish the episode, if I don't finish everything here, because I can't make my videos extremely long, then I'll, nobody want to watch them. That's the point they see the, the length of the video. Then they're just like get turned off from it so I gotta keep my videos at a certain length that's not too short or not too long <clears throat> I'm tired of my throat it sucks <clears throat> it's just so messed up 
but uh what's funny is that I go on to YouTube and I'll see like a video that's five hours long from somebody's let you know or uh, like a live stream or something and they'll get like 60 to 70 thousand views in like two days and I'm like how it's like nobody will, is willing to watch me do a 40 to 50 minute video but they're willing to watch somebody do five hours I know most likely people are just turning it on so they can do like housework or something they just have some kind of noise in the background which makes sense <clears throat> or something you know they can be like falling asleep to it or something because some people like having a uh, what, a, what I call a white noise to fall asleep to or some kind of noise in the background not my fault kill default eh, it doesn't even give you very much <clears throat> Man, my throat is so stupid looks like I don't smoke anymore I haven't done uh, smoking in a year well, not quite a year. Why is my throat so extremely just flimmy? Well, it sounds gross, but that's true. Why? Alright, let's go to this. These quests right here don't need to continue in any more Borderlands games. Those extreme uh, fetch quests. I can cough like a million times and my uh, throat doesn't clear up and it just gives me a sore throat. How does that even work? <clears throat> Why does this stuff come out? Sorry about all the coughing. I'm only human after all, right? I guess. <laughs> uh... That goes, that, that reminds me of that, um, what was he, the owner or something of Facebook or whatever, saying he, had, he went online to say that he was not a lizard. <laughs> That's what a lizard would say, right? I thought that was pretty funny. I can't remember his name, whatever his name is. I don't follow that junk. I just heard it. That people are accusing him of being a lizard, but yet... He has to get online to say that he's not a lizard, but if you were a alien or a lizard, you would say that exact thing, right? Just let me die. I don't want to fight these guys. I want clap traps. These guys, they suck. They're useless to me. <clears throat> Quit shooting at me. I'm gonna try to edit out all the coughing. So if I edit out all the all the coughing, I'm just letting y'all know that I did. Even though it doesn't really matter if I edit them out. <clears throat> it's like I don't need to cough anymore. It's just my throat fills up with junk. <clears throat> like right now, I can't talk. I don't know what is the point of me talking. And my throat just wanting to fill up. It doesn't make no sense. Well, I am not used to talking. Not in public or out loud. The most annoying part is getting constantly shot. You're just getting hit every which way. You can't get away from it. Oh, bend down as soon as I fire at you. Thanks, dude. Or don't hit him. Yeah, whatever. That's annoying. Annoying. And you never stop moving. Oh. For some reason, when you get knocked down in here in the first game, you constantly move like your controller or your mouse is broken. And so you can't aim correctly. Yeah, the second chance or second win thing in the first game is quite trash. 
Constantly shot up and you can't hit anything because of it, and then you get knocked down and you constantly move and you can't control, you know, correct your aim to actually fire and you can't move. It's really annoying. But they can shoot me with pinpoint accuracy. Raven, huh? Oh, stop. Where are you? Really? You shot me through a wall? Well, we found ourselves a legendary, guys. Don't know if it's any good. I don't think I've ever used that or seen that gun before. Give them that dot. See, these guys, if they have that brain thing, you would think they would give the uh, parts as well. It only makes sense. You're a flush bag. Yeah, if my video gets too long and I cannot finish the, uh, the DLC 100%, then I'm going to do a small video tomorrow. Just to finish things up, because I, I don't want to leave the DLC not finished, including these fetch quests that where you gotta collect 100,000 parts. I hope this is a quest they do not continue using. I know I don't, I don't think they really use it in the second game or in the pre sequel as much, not to this extent. What I mean is that it just keeps going and going and going, and the rewards for it is not good. I haven't got anything good for these missions. <clears throat> so on the effort of actually doing it, you get better rewards from doing the kills themselves and the exploration than you do turning it in. That's what I noticed in this DLC is that most of the rewards I've gotten for turning in missions have been just junk. So if this, if tomorrow's episode for the this DLC, if I don't finish this, tomorrow's episode will be the rest of this DLC, but it's going to be really short just to finish things up. That means uh, you guys will have two episodes tomorrow. Yay. See, they're like, their, their aim is like 100%. They don't miss. Which doesn't make sense. There's no, no error in their uh, program. I know they're robots now, but there's still some margin of error, right? You would think. I do not like these dudes at all. Oh, why did that take zero? I shot him right in the head. Look, zero. I didn't want that. Stop dropping trash. I don't want trash. Just filling up my inventory with trash over and over again. It's just nothing but garbage on top of garbage, inside of garbage, and around garbage. I don't care for that. Alright, let's see. Let's switch to this junk and see if it's even worth anything. Look at all. See, it's very slow. The projectiles are like massively slow. Oh god. Oh, this sucks so bad. Why are the iridium weapons? Do you think they'd be special, but they're such trash? You're going away. <clears throat> yeah, yo, let's say the Urban Raven. Let's give that a whirl real fast. New legendary I don't think I've ever seen. Let's 
So if uh, Gearbox is listening to this, and 2K and whoever that makes Borderlands and that is making the third game, if you guys hear this right now, do not make more missions like this, because, oh man, they're just bleh. Not unless there's a good reward for it. I wouldn't mind it if it was something worthwhile at the end of it all. But so far, I've gotten nothing out of this. I did get a legendary, but that came from an enemy kill. That could have happened at any time. Enemy kills are different than quest rewards. Alright, let's move on. Well, we're getting closer though, 150, so I hope that's the last step. Please be the last step. I'm done with these missions. I did the brains, I did most of these so far. I'm so done with them. $72,000 for that. See, the rewards for that, what you find are better than the rewards. Oh, jeez. Uh, it says, oh, it has infinite ammo, but it really does not. And I pretty much have infinite ammo anyways, because I got the uh, class mod. <clears throat> so I'm getting uh, not frustrated, really not frustrated at the game. I'm getting frustrated at my coughing. Almost every episode really ticks me off. And I don't like showing that side of me on YouTube. I'm normally not like that, but when I talk, for some reason, nothing wants to work. Like, my throat gets all messed up, I start coughing, I can't talk. I sound like I just hit puberty. Or something. I get like a million voice cracks. And that is a bit annoying. I know I just started YouTube, so I just got to give myself time and get used to talking, you know, out loud or publicly, which I'm not used to. These guys are trash. Oh, let's have block literally all your damage. Don't aim at the core because you're not going to do anything. Where's my shield that does, you know, zero damage? Or I take zero damage. Alright. Off we go. Ain't worth it, not worth it, don't do it. Why do I do it? I can't help it. Yeah, I told you it wasn't going to worth it. Or was it going to worth it? That doesn't make any sense. Was not worth it. Yeah, I'm already at 40 something minutes and... Doesn't seem like I got anything done. The thing is, is, I'm not no completionist by any means. You know, somebody that, that has to have literally 100% everything in the game done. But for YouTube's sake, I want to get stuff done so you guys can see the missions, what they entail, what you guys think of the DLC. You get to see the whole experience. Not unless it's a timed mission, because those are just complete trash. I hate timed missions. I know video games are basically built on time limits, but nowadays they can just do without it. Back then it was more of a necessity because of the limited hardware, but nowadays they got way better hardware, programming and whatnot. So we just do with, do without the uh, time missions. Trying to just get out of here. Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Okay. Maybe I need to be more cheesy. Just weird. Because, you know, when I, uh do my commentary and whatnot on YouTube. I'm not quite myself, you know, I am somewhat myself, but I'm not 100% myself. Cause in real, you know, real life I, I cuss, you know, I say lewd remarks and stuff, 
crack jokes and weird things, but I can't do that on YouTube, though. Anybody that acts like that gets hated on, not unless you're already famous to begin with. If you already established yourself and you have millions of subscribers and you can say whatever you want, it doesn't seem to affect you. But for somebody like myself, which is a tiny itty bitty microscope, you know, or a microscopic speck in the YouTube universe. Uh, one thing, if I say one wrong thing, my entire thing is ruined. It could be the simplest, like, like an F word or something. F bomb or anything like that, and I can get completely buried. Which is kind of really lame, actually, if you think about it. 196 times 7. Okay. I'm gonna get that. Mine's only like 89 damage. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the episode uh, here pretty soon. I wanted to finish more in here, but the time I always don't have enough time. That's the problem. We'll be finishing stuff up tomorrow. And uh, today, off camera, I'm going to uh, finish getting the rest of the parts for the uh, clock trap thing, and I'll show you guys the rewards for that next episode before we uh there's one more thing I do want to try though before we fully leave this one can well if the other one is not that good then I'm not going to keep it this one so look at that damage compared to my other one 98 times 7 196 times 7 160, that's fine. Why is that okay? Oh, yeah, I changed it out. You know. I'm not going to use this. I wanted to try it. I'm going to try that one. This cannon sucks. But I'm going to try this one, which looks like a pistol. Or something similar to a pistol. I'm going to keep that 909. Because that looks pretty nice. It has a lower recharge rate, but it has a higher capacity. Let's give this junk a try real fast. Wow, uh, three shots. Never mind. Let's put that up there and let's give myself this back. There we go. Now I'm back to somewhat my normal self. Yeah, just a future reference for you guys. Those Iridium weapons suck. They may look promising, but they suck. They should have done better on those, for sure. Alright. Well, I'm going to make it back to Tartarus Station. We're going to probably end the episode there. And then I'm going to farm the uh, robot parts off camera today, so I can just go ahead and get that done. And we're gonna, before we end the episode, I'm going to go back to Tartarus Station to see if the uh, bounty board has any new missions. Because I remember there was a mission that I had to take up the Rack Hive. Not unless I'm mistaken, but I remember fighting a rack hive in that big crater. But it's red, as you can see, it's red. Maybe because I have to turn in this mission right here to get that one done. But I'm not gonna, well, I kinda wanna just get it over with, but I don't wanna lose my chest farming spot. probably not going to be worth it anyways all right guys uh, I'm going to farm the parts off camera and uh, turn in that mission for Tannis to s and I'll just keep the item on me and I'll show you guys in the next episode and tomorrow I just want to move on with it I know I said I want to complete everything but maybe sometime in the future we'll come back and I can just record a small special that just shows the uh, anything else that might be missing here like a little co uh, compilation or something but tomorrow I want to start the uh, next DLC which is uh, Secret Army of General Knox so that'll be a thing alright guys uh, if you'd like to join the Meerkat family hit the uh, subscribe button and join today I need to the, I would love the family to grow and I want to see all the new people that come in and all the comments and stuff you know that'll be cool 
And if you like my commentary, besides all the coughing and bad throat stuff, uh, hit that like button to show your support and help me out. And uh, don't forget about that notification bell to keep up my latest videos. I upload daily except for Sunday. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.